So you want to go to a ball, but you lost your shoe, and now this guy's trying to give it back to you, but he doesn't know who you are, so he's having a difficult time. But then at the end, you find out that you actually do know the guy, and he found you when he gave the shoe back, and it's all happy-go-lucky. Wait, no, that was, um... Oh, that was Pocahontas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, we're Methods by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this cool little teeth transition thing and in Blender, and it looks really cool, and I hope you guys enjoyed what it looks like because it looks kind of cool. Hey, guys, um, let's let's get this thing, get this thing going. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and drag a box over top of everything in our scene except for our camera. Hit delete on your keyboard. Grab the camera. Um, hit Alt G on your keyboard and then Alt R to clear the location and the rotation. Hit R X and then your numpad. Hit nine zero to confirm and then hit Enter to confirm that rotation um, on the X axis by ninety degrees. Hit um, G and Y to move the camera backwards. You probably get this by this point if you've watched some of my other tutorials, but we gotta go through this anyway. Hit zero to go into the camera's view. And now you can see we are ready and set up to go. Hit Shift A to search for a plane. Hit RX and then on your numpad, 90. Enter. And now we can go ahead and hit S to scale this bad boy up like this. Um, I, might just, I might just hit SX to scale it on the X axis and then S just to scale it on the to regular, regularly. Then hit SX to scale it a little bit back down. There we go. Um, now I want this to make this look like, look like it's teeth so the way we do that is going ahead and hitting tab let's go into edit mode and then going ahead and go to the loop cut uh section right here i'm just change the number of cuts to maybe nine cuts like that um and then left click it so what i've done is i just want to make sure it was an an odd number because if it was an even number then we wouldn't have one in the middle and i want to want to have a line directly in the middle um so let's go ahead and go to the selection tool up here grab every other um piece of 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 this so hold down shift select every other vertice hold down shift and then hit g z and move it up and as you can see it looks like there's like teeth right it looks like little sharp sharp little teeth um now i also want to go ahead and um maybe shorten these ones so it's like it's like vampire teeth i guess maybe something like that hit s x to scale on the s axis axis um, we can actually go ahead and grab these two up here too. So hit S X. Hold on, shift. I want to kind of move them around like this. So let's a little grab these up to, up top too. Hit sh hold on, shift. Grab those two. Move them over a little bit. Yeah, it looks kind of good. Oh, it looks so good. All right, nice. Okay, so so that's that's done. Um, now we need to make this, but on the bottom too. So let's go ahead. And we hit tab to go out of that. Um, I'm going to put this so that the highest part actually i'm gonna maybe move these down a little bit um actually wait this piece hold on shift to grab all these and move them all down a little bit and then the furthest out ones hold on shift and move that down i want to kind of, kind of like have an, like an arch you know so um there we go nice so i'm gonna make sure that the highest part which is this peak right here is um past the middle point so it's past the 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 midway point like this let's go ahead and hit shift d to duplicate this Hit R Z one no, not one Z R Z sorry R X um one eighty left click to confirm that hit G Z to move it down and as you can see we now have the ability to have um, teeth that kind of go into each other let's go ahead and go to the animation timeline down here change our start frame to zero um, go to the second frame change the frame rate to sixty there you go now this is where things get interesting so let's go ahead and go to frame zero and move this off of the camera move both of them off the camera hit i location on both of these i location then on frame about maybe 20 go ahead and put them about right here like that and then hit, uh, location and then on frame maybe 70 hit gz move it all the way up past the halfway point I location and the same thing with this one up here frame 20 move it about the same distance right there I location and then on frame 70 past the halfway point I location now when you play this it should look like the teeth are coming together um like that which looks really cool but I think what I want to do is I want to make it so that frame 20 isn't so close 
So move it up a little bit, kind of try and match it like this location. I also want to maybe shrink these ones and maybe move them over because people's top and bottom teeth are not exactly the same. And this is also kind of looks like a vampire, which is kind of cool. So like that. And then. Yeah, it's kind of slow now, but that's all right. We'll move it. We'll move this frame to frame 20 from from frame 20 to frame 10. The same thing with this one up here. Frame 20 to frame 10. And maybe we'll move that one to 50 or something. Yeah, because it's, it's moving kind of slow. There we go. That's what you like to see. Now I'll put this in frame on frame 100, per perhaps. And now you can see this is what our low motion graphic looks like. Let's go ahead and actually do the colors for this so it's easier to see what's happening. I'm going to go to the materials tab. Hit the, little, the material uh, thing right here. Go to the second uh, set of teeth. Also put the same, the same material on it. I'm going to change this to a white color because I want this to be like a white transition. Um, go to a mission and then make sure that it's a solid white. There you go. And I'm also going to go to the main tab, go to color management, and then change this from filmic to standard. So it's actually a white color. And then in the background, I kind of want to do like a cool thing. Hit shift A, search for a mesh plane. Hit G, Y to move it backwards like this. R, X, 90 on your numpad. Hit enter to confirm. S to scale it up like that, just so it takes up the entire camera. Um, and then we go ahead and hit shift A and search for a light point um and then let's hit g y to move it backwards grab our plane that's back here hit the material tab hit new and then we're going to change this to a red color like uh like this yeah there we go nice and then we can go ahead and grab our lamp go to material viewport shading so you can see what's going on uh render viewport shading sorry turn the power up a lot so maybe a thousand yeah um, change the color to like a yellowish, nice yellowish color. Like that. Go to the go to the uh, plane. Turn specular uh, all the way off, roughness all the way up. And as you can see, we have a nice little gradient with this, which looks like the inside of our mouth, which is kind of cool. Um, you can just leave this blank, obviously, if it's a transition. But I just want to do a, a color because it looks kind of cool. But um, but yeah, so that's basically it. For today's tutorial, I'm going to actually drop these two as well, like that. Yeah, that is it for today's tutorial. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed this nice little uh, teeth vampire transition. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and go to the camera tab and turn the, uh, this uh, viewport display all the way up so we can only see the black around the edges. And then we go ahead and play this. There you go. It looks very cool. And then what I want to do is... Um, we can maybe make it so that these go away. Let's go ahead and go to um, frame. Hold on. Go to go to frame 50. Duplicate frame 50 to frame 90 and then grab frame zero. Hold shift. Uh, hit shift D to duplicate. Sorry. Shift and D. And then we'll go ahead and grab. OK, we'll go ahead and grab this one right here and put it on frame 100. And we'll do the same thing for the uh, upper teeth at frame 50. Hit shift D. Put it on 90. Grab the first frame on frame zero. Hit shift D. Put it on frame 100 and now you can see the teeth will go back open which is exactly what we need so that is basically our like teeth transition motion graphic which looks really cool hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye